in the hushed realm of classic cinema, where black and white frames paint stories of yesteryears. One name stands as a sentinel of suspense, a harbinger of heists, the asphalt jungle. Cast your mind back to that moment, that very first encounter with the flickering images on screen, the monochrome world of 1950 coming to life in a symphony of shadows. Did you find yourself transfixed by the characters, drawn into the web of criminal ambition and moral entanglement? Perhaps it was that distinct scene, an unforgettable instant etched into your memory, where destiny played its hand amidst the urban chaos. The asphalt jungle, a masterclass in noir storytelling, set against a backdrop of intricate plots and fragile alliances, left an indelible mark on the tapestry of film history. Now, let's delve deeper into the heart of this cinematic gem. From its inception to the silver screen debut, random facts intertwine with the narrative, shedding light on the behind-the-scenes maneuvers that birthed this masterpiece. The interplay of directorial vision, the nuances of character portrayal, and the unforeseen challenges that carved the film's unique path. These elements converge to create an experience that still resonates today. So, buckle up for a journey through time, a stroll down the alleys of cinematic ingenuity, as we unravel the enigma that is the asphalt jungle. Let's explore the hidden anecdotes, the trivia that colors the film with hues of fascination, and discover the mosaic of efforts that culminated in this timeless noir saga. From the flick of a clapperboard to the last echoes of applause, the stage is set, the curtains part, and we're beckoned into the world behind the scenes. And now, without further ado, let the secrets unfold, the facts enlighten, and the allure of this cinematic relic captivate you anew. For in the heart of this story, we find reflections of our own humanity, mirroring our desires, choices, and the pursuit of dreams, no matter how shadowed they may be. The 1950 film The Asphalt Jungle, directed by John Huston, emerges as a classic heist movie that set new standards in the genre. Adapted from W.R. Burnett's novel, this gritty tale showcases a meticulously planned jewelry heist executed by a group of diverse characters, each with their own motivations and flaws. The film stands out for its nuanced portrayal of the criminals' lives, as it delves into their aspirations and vulnerabilities, making them more than mere archetypes. Sterling Hayden's portrayal of Dix Handley, a tough yet sympathetic crook, and the cunning lawyer played by Louis Calhoun contribute to the film's enduring impact. Huston's unique directorial style adds depth to the narrative, weaving a complex web of tension and morality. The movie's emphasis on the intricate planning of the heist and its aftermath paved the way for subsequent crime dramas to explore the psychological and emotional dimensions of criminal enterprises. With its stark black and white cinematography and moody atmosphere, the film captures the underbelly of urban life in a way that would influence future works in the genre. The asphalt jungle left an indelible mark on popular culture, becoming a reference point for heist films and crime stories that followed. Its exploration of characters, motivations, and its portrayal of the criminal world added layers of complexity to the genre, and its impact can be felt in movies ranging from Ocean's Eleven to Reservoir Dogs. The film's legacy endures as an exemplar of crime cinema, redefining conventions and emphasizing the humanity within its characters. In conclusion, The Asphalt Jungle remains a pivotal work in cinema, its enduring influence resonating through decades of heist and crime films. Its unforgettable characters, masterful direction, and thought-provoking exploration of criminal psychology have cemented its place in the pantheon of cinematic classics, shaping the trajectory of the genre for generations to come. Turner Entertainment Co. as colorization of the 1950 film The Asphalt Jungle sparked a transatlantic legal clash that reverberated between France and the United States. In a battle that pitted France's staunch author's rights protection against the weight of U.S. contractual agreements, John Huston's heirs attempted to halt the airing of a colorized version on French TV in 1989. Despite their efforts, French courts ruled against them, permitting the broadcast. However, the tides turned in 1994 when the Versailles Appeals Court reversed the prior decision. Turner Entertainment was fined 400,000 francs, around $74,000 at the time, for screening the colorized edition. A captivating backdrop to this legal drama was the backdrop of the Red Scare era. Notable contributors to the film, actor, director John Huston and star Sterling Hayden, lent their voices to the Committee for the First Amendment. The committee ardently opposed the blacklisting of alleged communists in the film industry, 
Although Huston had no communist ties, Hayden had been associated with the party earlier. This dynamic duo's advocacy for civil liberties adds another layer of intrigue to the film's legacy. Amid the hues of legal battles and political fervor, the asphalt jungle also showcased Sam Jaff's pinnacle performance, recognized by an Oscar nomination. This film solidified Jaff's place in cinematic history, encapsulating his talent within its gripping narrative. As the technicolor dust settled and legal debates subsided, the asphalt jungle left an indelible mark. Its vibrancy reached beyond the silver screen, painting a tableau of complex legal wrangling, political convictions, and artistic achievements that continue to resonate. The Asphalt Jungle, a gem preserved in time in 1950, the silver screen witnessed the birth of a cinematic masterpiece, The Asphalt Jungle, a gripping crime drama directed by John Huston. Despite its eventual recognition, this film faced a rocky road upon its release, with its financial success teetering on the edge. Studio records from Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer indicate a meager profit of a mere $40,000 barely scratching the surface of the considerable investment poured into its production. However, the tale took a different turn as years went by. Recognizing its significance, the Library of Congress included the Asphalt Jungle in its esteemed National Film Registry in 2008. This honor cemented its cultural importance, preserving its legacy for generations to come. Among the myriad of talents showcased on screen, actor Struther Martin marked his feature film debut with an uncredited role in the police lineup scene. Little did audiences know that this newcomer would go on to establish a name for himself in Hollywood. The Asphalt Jungle may have struggled to find its footing at the box office, but its enduring impact and preservation in the National Film Registry stand as testaments to its indelible mark on cinema. A tale of crime, intrigue, and human nature, this film has carved its place in history. Brad Dexter's Transformation a name for the silver screen in the shadows of 1950s film noir, The Asphalt Jungle, a pivotal transformation took place, not only within its characters, but also behind the scenes. Amidst the gritty narrative of heists and human nature, a young actor found himself undergoing a shift that would alter his cinematic destiny. Brad Dexter, a promising talent on the verge of wider recognition, stepped into the realm of the asphalt jungle as a supporting player. However, what sets this moment apart is not just his performance, but the identity he carried onto the screen. Prior to this film, he had graced celluloid under the name Barry Mitchell. Yet, it was the persuasion of director John Huston that led him to adopt the moniker by which he would come to be known, Brad Dexter. This change was no mere whim, it symbolized a deliberate rebranding of a rising star. The name Brad Dexter held a cinematic weight that fit seamlessly within the noir universe. The film itself echoed the intricacies of human choices, much like Dexter's own decision to embrace a new identity. It was this transformation that marked not only his first feature film role under the name Brad Dexter, but also a turning point in his career. The asphalt jungle thrived on its intricate characters and their decisions, entwined within a web of crime and fate. And so, Brad Dexter's choice to embrace his new name found synergy within the film's exploration of the paths we choose to follow. With this transformation, he solidified his presence as a memorable figure in the noir landscape, showcasing the power of a name to encapsulate a persona. In the annals of cinematic history, the asphalt jungle stands as a testament to the interplay between art and reality. Brad Dexter's evolution from Barry Mitchell to his new identity mirrored the very essence of the film itself, a narrative driven by transformation, desire, and the pursuit of a defined path. Tribute in Shadows, a legacy echoing through Noir Joel and Ethan Coen's 2001 film Noir, The Man Who Wasn't There, paid an intriguing homage to Sam Jaff's iconic character, Doc Redenschnader, from the 1950 classic The Asphalt Jungle. In a twist of narrative fate, the Cohen brothers introduced defense lawyer Freddie Redenschnader, portrayed by Tony Schalhaub. This intentional tribute nods to the enduring influence of the asphalt jungle on the genre. The legacy of Jaff's character finds a modern echo in Schalhaub's performance, seamlessly intertwining the past and present of cinematic storytelling. Cincinnati's enigmatic backdrop, a gritty elegance the opening credits of the asphalt jungle ingeniously cast Cincinnati, Ohio, as a character in its own right. The city's riverfront, with the commanding John A. Roebling suspension bridge, evokes the aura of the Brooklyn Bridge. A tableau of urban ruggedness, the shot captures the essence of a metropolis on the edge. 
The central trust and Keru Tower buildings punctuate the skyline, an enduring testament to the city's history. While the brick-paved landing may have vanished, the bridge and edifices stand resolute, bridging the gap between cinema's celluloid tapestry and the city's palpable history. Authors and print collaboration beyond the pages, the collaborative dance between writer W.R. Burnett and director John Huston breathed life into the asphalt jungle. As Huston penned the script, Burnett's consultation illuminated its narrative contours. In his autobiography, Huston revealed Burnett's involvement, underlining their synergy in shaping the film's trajectory. Burnett's endorsement of the final screenplay seals their creative kinship. This union of minds, etched within the movie's foundation, cements the asphalt jungle not only as a cinematic triumph, but as a testament to collaborative artistry. The asphalt jungle lives on, its tendrils reaching out through tributes, landscapes frozen in time, and the harmonious collaboration that brought it to life. The film's influence in the noir pantheon endures, each frame capturing the essence of an era and weaving it into the tapestry of cinematic history. As the reels of time continue to spin, we find ourselves tethered to the legacy of cinema's golden past, where shadows danced with secrets and characters etched their stories onto the screen. Such is the enduring allure of the 1950 film, The Asphalt Jungle. It's a cinematic gem that unfurls its narrative petals like a beguiling flower, each petal representing a layer of human desire, desperation, and destiny intricately woven together. Every scene in this masterpiece is like a brushstroke on a canvas of intrigue, painting a picture of ambition colliding with fate in the back alleys of a city's underbelly. The characters, flawed yet fascinating, invite us to gaze through the murky glass of their moral struggles and ponder our own capacity for choices under pressure. The heist that threads through the heart of the story isn't just a criminal endeavor, it's a mirror reflecting the nuanced shades of our own desires, our dreams and decisions that might seem lawful or illicit in the eyes of society. As the credits roll, we are left with a cinematic reverberation that lingers, a challenge to explore the shadows within ourselves and to contemplate the delicate balance between circumstance and choice. Now, dear cinephile and seeker of stories, as you navigate your own intricate narrative, take a moment to traverse the celluloid corridors of the asphalt jungle. What resonates with you? Is it the raw vulnerability of the characters, the tension that tugs at your empathy, or perhaps the way the film casts a sepia-toned light on the human soul? Share your thoughts, your musings, your favorite moments. Let the dialogue of this classic piece of cinema become a part of your own narrative tapestry. In the expanse between real and reality, may you find a reflection, a connection, or even a revelation that echoes through the decades. Thank you for indulging in the magic of cinema and for sharing in the appreciation of this timeless treasure. Your time and imagination are truly cherished. Warm regards, and until our stories intersect again.